In this video, we are going to talk about how to create folders, subfolders, how to create a note, how to take some notes, and also how to create different, different levels of headers, and also how to create external links in Obsidian. So please stay tuned. So first of all, let's talk about how to create folders and subfolders. For doing so, first of all, I click on this. As you can see, it says new folder. So I click on it and I want to name it, for example, 00 dash journal that's it and i press enter and now i want to create another folder inside this journal folder in order to do so i right click on this folder and then i choose this one new folder and as you can see inside this folder we have created another folder and let's call it collections so now suppose that i want to create a note inside this sub folder in order to do so i right click on this sub folder and i click new note and as you can see here is a note so let's rename this page for example i want to name it books to read that's it and i press enter as you can see i have changed the name of this file and you can see here as well and also remember that this is the path to my note as you can see my note is in the journal folder and there is another subfolder inside this folder which is called collections and inside this subfolder we have this note which is called book to read so this is the path of my notes so now suppose that i want to categorize different books which i want to read for example some of them might be about perfectionism some of them might be about discipline deep work and focus note taking and different things anyway so i want to categorize different books into different categories so in order to do so i want to define some headers some titles but actually they're called headers in obsidian so i want to define some headers in order to do so i put a hash symbol and after that, I should put a space. And after that, I can type whatever I want to type. So this is perfectionism. So this is actually a kind of title. It's a kind of header. And the important note is that you should remember to put this space. Otherwise, if you don't put this space, it is going to consider this whole thing as a tag, not a header. So remember to put this space. So as you can see, this is a header. This is a title. So I press enter. As you can see, this is a header. So now suppose that I want to add two books under this category. So one of them is this book called How to Be an Imperfectionist by Stephen Guise. And the other one, is the book Finish by John Acuff, which is a very good book. And suppose that I want to convert these normal texts into headers. In order to do so, I want to convert, for example, this one into header two, because actually this upper category is header one. As you can see, it has one hash, so it is called header one. So let's suppose that we want to convert this into header two. I mean, something, a header, which is a soft subset of header one so in order to do so we put two hashes and after that you should put a space remember to put this space so as you can see this is header two and let's do the same thing for this book as well so two hashes and a space remember that when you put two hashes it is header two when you put one hash it is header one and maybe you ask how many headers do we have the answer is six headers so we have header one and you can have a subset for that and that is header two once again you can have a subset for that it is header three and all the way up to header six that's it. As you can see, we can define header one all the way up to header six. So that's it. Let's delete this because we don't need them and they were only for explanation purposes. So for example, I want to copy this part and I go to Obsidian because I want to paste the rating of this book. So if I press control V on my keyboard, you can see it paste that whole thing with that table structure, but I don't want this. So I you know, hover my mouse into the boundary of this table until I see this hand icon thingy. So I click on it and then I press delete on my keyboard. So I've deleted that. So instead of pressing control V, I press control shift V. So control shift V is actually pasting as plain text. So if I right click and if I click paste uh, as plain text, it is going to do the same thing. So anyway, let's clean this text. So this is the rating. Anyway, so this is the rating of the book and this is the number of ratings 
of that book at the time of recording. And I've done the same thing for this book as well. And let's delete this extra line. And suppose that I want to add the Amazon link for each of these books. And it's very obvious that one of the things that you can do, which is not very good and which is not very beautiful, is to copy this link and then go to Obsidian and, for example, paste the link. But this is not very beautiful. So in order to make it more beautiful, we can type a text, for example, Amazon, and then you highlight this text. So you highlight this text. And after that, you press Control K on your keyboard, and then you paste that URL. And in order to exit out of this edit mode, you should, for example, click somewhere else, for example, here. And as you can see, this is the link. And if you want to go to that edit mode, use your arrow keys. So as you can see, this blinking thingy is here. So I use my arrow key. I use my top arrow key in order to move up. So in order to go to the above line so i do that and as you can see now i go to the edit mode but if i want to exit out of this edit mode so i click somewhere else and as you can see this is our link so let's do the same for the second one so i type the text and then i go to this website and i copy the link and here i highlight this and i press Control k and i paste that url and I click somewhere else in order to exit out of that edit mode. And that's it. And now maybe you ask, okay, how can I find the location of this file on my computer? So in order to do so, as you can see, we are working with this file. So I right click on this file. And as you can see, one of those options is show in system explorer. So I click on this and this is your file. This is the name of the file, books to read. And as you can see, the extension of this file is MD, which means markdown. If you don't see these extensions, you should go to view tab. And here, as you can see, it says file name extensions. And by the way, if your window is very small, you cannot see that. So you should make it bigger. And after that, you can see this option. So if I check this one, yes, I can see file name extensions. But if I uncheck this one, no, I cannot see that. So you should check this one. And this markdown file type is very common. This is not something exclusive to Obsidian. There are a lot of other softwares and tools that they use Markdown as well. So this is a very common file type. This was one of the videos of a step-by-step -step tutorial playlist of Obsidian. You can find the link to that playlist in the description below. And also we have other playlists for other topics, which you can find them on the channel page.